Hello everyone. So today we will be continuing our previous uh, lecture that is of uh, uh, USMLE step 1 2021 and this our page number will be now 127. So this will be 127. So when we are talking about we have talked about the bacterial structure. Now we have talked about the bacteria structure in the first page. In the second page we are talking about the different strain. So once you have understood what is bacteria, what is the difference between from the human cell. So we can uh, target that particular part and make a drugs and then kill those bacteria. There are other function as well how this bacteria, those uh, cellular structure help them to cause us the infection and how we can target them. These are all about the bacterial structure. And then the second page we have talked about this stain. Look, when a bacteria infection is suspected, when you send something to the lab, then what happened? They tries to in the lab, what we do, we try to stain first to uh, narrow down where we have to go because we cannot uh, uh, culture everything or we cannot uh, put all resources to, to look everything, particularly in the resource limited country and everywhere. So it is always to save the resources. So first we do the stain. If a stain is saying gram positive, then we have a lot of uh, things in the mind like we do the culture and while putting the antibiotic sensitivity, we put uh, only in the uh, line of the gram positive one. So even in the case of the stain, if you are suspecting the gram stain has positive like cluster organism, then you are thinking of Staphylococcus aureus in a pus. And then you can call your physician or doctor and say, look, this we are talking about a gram stain. We have found this uh, positive uh, culture that is positive stain that is um, grape like cluster cluster of organism in sin and which is gram positive. Then they will go for the treatment in accordingly. They will go give the uh, gram positive drugs like they will go for the treatment if they have goes to the vancomycin if it is MRSA we are suspecting they are not improving they can go to the vancomycin or we can do after culture as well the best thing is to do anything after culture but the narrow dining can be our initial for a clinical to start the empirical therapy stand makes a help and it, in lab uh, it also helps to correlate with the culture and give you a pre presumptive diagnostic okay so once we have done stain then we go for the uh, particular identification then we want to culture that organism so for culture the organism we need to put into the culture media and for culture media you have to understand that this concept has come from the human body itself when there was a first uh, uh, when we get infected with our uh, organism then they grow inside our body so what we have done the like human body we have created outside our blood culture they grow in our blood so we have created okay we should give everything to the bacteria outside the in outside environment and then help them all the with the nutrition to grow in the artificial media so we created a blood agar and in this blood agar there is the human blood or sheep blood or any blood is used accordingly there is the agar to solidify it then there are some certain substances that is required for the growth of the organism so there will be the peptin water and something like that that is not so much important uh, for here but you have to understand that what is the growth media growth media are just the media the environment the food for the bacteria to grow in the lab that is all the point those who can grow extracellular you can grow you can't grow this uh, uh, intracellular organism like rickettsia chlamydia or say viruses outside the in this type of media they can be grown but they can be grown in the cell culture inside the cell that is a different culture way but once we are talking about the bacteria so they can grow in the outer environment and in, in the what you can say in the artificial medium uh, in a, easily in the lab and that can be done that is just a food for the bacteria which we are providing with the optimum, optimum pH and temperature okay so that what are the types of media actually there are a lot of media like basic media blood agar chocolate uh, enriched media then selective media then there is the indicator media there are the other types as well so we will for mainly focus in the selective media and indicator media the selective media is what when we one is a basic media where everything can grow but we need to uh, select some of the organism growth very uh, we need that organism from a group of the organism suppose you are going going to culture your throat swab in throat swab there are the lot of normal flora but you need to find out this nigeria or in the urethral swab if you, you can see that there is a nigeria gonadi but they can come with a normal flora so they cannot be what they cannot be grown easily the other normal flora will inhibit that uh, the growth of the real pathogen so in that case we use the selective media what does the selective media do it actually favors the growth of the particular organism while preventing the growth of the other organism so the main focus is to select if we want to uh, select the growth of this um, Nigeria gonorrhea or Nigeria meningitis they are in the uh, in between the common flora we need to select it out how we can select we need to kill those normal flora 
and but doesn't kill this organism so we should we use something that will kill the normal flora but not this organism and what can be done example thyroid martin media you can see they contain vancomycin trimethoprine cholestine and statin what does this do vancomycin will kill the gram positive bacteria cholestine and trimethoprim will kill the gram negative bacteria whereas the nystatin will kill the fungus so everything is killed but this drugs vancomycin trimethoprim cholestine and nystatin doesn't kill this nigeria gonadi so we have incorporated this vancomycin trimethoprim cholestine and nystatin into thyromartin thyromartin agar and then it becomes selective it kills all the organism except the nigeria gonadi and it becomes selective for the nigeria gonadi so in this way selective media work there are a the lot of selective media for different organism for now you have to understand the selective media is the media where which favors the growth of the particular organism which we want to grow the pathogenic organism and inhibit the all other common flora that can come in the respiratory sample like throat swab or urethral swab or anywhere suppose you are getting from the gi tract gi tract has tons of normal flora your whole body is full of the normal flora so but you need you don't need to treat the normal flora you need to treat the pathogen so you need to find out the pathogen for that you need a selective media now coming to the indicator media what is the indicator media indicator media is a media where you will get indication how indication by changing the color so in in case of suppose there is an organism you have seen you have if you have not heard there is a called a maconchi agar maconchi agar what does do it has a lot of property it has selective also because it select between the gram positive and gram negative it only grow gram negative organism a maconchi agar blood blood agar everything grows okay so if you are talking about the blood agar it is a rich media it is with the blood and that can grow everything whereas in case of the indicator media there is like maconchi agar uh, it is selective as well as indicator media okay so in selective it select between the gram positive and gram negative and once the gram negative only grow in gram negative also they will indicate as a lactose fermenting and non lactose fermenting so indicator media yields a color change in response to the metabolism of certain organism is known example maconchi agar in maconchi agar if you grow the if you put a lot, lots of bacteria from throat there are gram positive and gram negative as well they will grow in the culture but only gram negative will gram negative will only grow gram positive will be inhibited in maconchi agar so it is a selective between gram positive and gram negative now come Coming into the gram negative, they will form two type of colony. One is the uh, like macon, one is the lactose fermenter, and one is non lactose fermenter. So those organism, there is a lactose in this macon agar. Those organism which can utilize lactose, they produce the acid and change the pH of that media. And then since the pH is changed, there is an indicator which change into color pink. So those organisms which can yet utilize the lactose will produce the through the metabolism there will be the production of acid there will be a decrease in pH that will convert this indicator in this medium medium into the pink so you will appear as certain organism as the pink organism and that is due to indication and that is called a lactose fermenting gram negative rods mainly India you found in the enteric organism so you have understood uh, one media can be both indicator as well as selective but indicator means it gives an indication by changing the color of the media by changing the ps that is the important point now coming to the there are this is about the basic media we have talked uh, we have talked about the enriched media enriched with the, like a, a blood agar or basic media can be a nutrient agar where everything there is no more additional there will be only the salt and water then there is a maintenance of the ps and then there is agar and then when uh, sometime we can enrich with the glucose then it will become glucose broth we can add the blood it can become blood agar we heat it it become converted into the chocolate agar okay that in this same way the media are classified now coming to the special culture requirement there are the certain organism that requires the special culture and that you have to understand because it will become a high yield point okay so like hemophilus influenzae we cannot grow in the normal media it can grow but it will be inhibited by the certain substances it requires certain substances like uh, factor v and factor x this required the growth of the hemophilus influenzae requires two important factor beside the normal requirement so this required factor v and factor x factor v is nad and factor x is hematin so this hema x is found in the blood so you can found in the blood agar you can say it can be found in the blood agar but the factor b is not found in the it is inside the rbc but it is not found in the blood agar outside so hemophilus influenza will not grow in the blood agar so what we can do we need to heat that blood agar if once the blood agar is heated rbc will rise and nd will be released and that color will be changed actually into the chocolate 
So that same blood agar heated at 70 degrees Celsius for 20, 15 to 20 minutes will convert it into the chocolate agar. Now in chocolate agar you have both X factor and V factor and since there is V factor was inside the RBC it is released out X factor is already in the hemoglobin. So this both factor is present now in the chocolate agar. So in chocolate agar you can grow easily the hemophilus influence. How other ways you can grow? You can make this X factor and V factor outside in the tube in a okay, what's a dicks and then you place into the like MHA normal agar and you put it to the combined together there where there will be the X and V factor both is present there will be the growth of this amphalous influenza where only X factor will be there there will be no growth of the amphalous influenza where you will keep only V factor like I'll, let me explain you this is the media here is the X here is the V and here is the XB there will be growth here inside this they can really growth around these sticks but there will be no growth around this this and this so this is the requirement of v and x factor and that's known as the hemophilus influenza which is usually present in the no chocolate agar or you have to put extra from the x and v factor in your culture media i think you have understood the hemophilus influenza now talking about the nigeria gonorrhea and nigeria meningitis you have already known i have explained in the selective media this thyr martin agar this is nothing just we are putting uh, this in chocolate agar we are putting uh, this three kind antibiotics like vancomycin trimethoprim cholestin and statin why they have been put they have been put to select the growth of the nigeria meningitis while inhibit the normal flora so what we are doing we are putting vancomycin trimethoprim cholestin and statin so in this saga we have putting uh, this uh, uh, antibiotics to inhibit the what vancomycin will inhibit the gram positive trimethoprim and cholestin will be the gram negative nystatin will inhibit the fungus but they are not going to kill this nigeria gonorrhea so nigeria gonorrhea will happily grow in that media okay now comes to the bordella pertussis we have heard where the weeping cough that is caused by the bordella pertussis we have been found they can be grown in the bordered gangu agar or regain low medium and charcoal agar this medium contains the potato extract charcoal blood and antibiotics what this charcoal has actually do is the charcoal other are helping to the growth they are the enriching the media but charcoal help to neutralize the toxin if there is any which can inhibit the growth of the bordella pertussis so that you have to understand so if you are talking about bordella pertussis bordet this is the name of the scientist from bordetella bordet gangue agar and regan low media okay now coming to the coronabacterium diphtheri this is the one of the very deadliest organism we have published one uh, case a typical case in new england journal of medicine if you go and see the dr ranjit san uh, diphtheria case then we have found this uh, one of the classical presentation of diphtheria case we have actually detected many diphtheria in Nepal. so in diphtheria we again grow in the telluride blood agar and lafleur's medium that is important okay so you have to understand this telluride blood agar is a help in the changing this current bacterium diphtheric color into the black color so that help to distinguish it will actually inhibit other organism as well as and some of the organism only those organism can be grown this coron bacteria if this area will grow other can be also grown but the coron bacterium diphtheric colony will be black in color so we can uh, easily pick up okay this black colony is coron bacterium diphtheria and then you can process further okay so this is easy for identification so what are the uh, media that is required for coron bacterium diphtheria you have to remember at least telluride blood agar or lafleur serum slop or lafleur's media okay now coming to the mycobacterium tuberculosis this is the most widely available disease all around the world and this is mostly this is most deadliest disease as well because a lot of people are dying every uh, day say every year all around the world mainly in the developing countries so in mycobacterium tuberculosis uh, causing the tuberculosis that is usually grown in the loins and jensen media that is you can this is the classical medium there is a lot of thing in the media to help in the growth of this mycobacterium tuberculosis there are the grish load that is the uh, that keep this uh, media moist so it can be uh, cultured so long period of time so if you culture other bacteria the medium will get dry so in two or three days after the medium get dries and you cannot uh, grow help it doesn't help in the growth of the organism but in lines and jensen media there is additional of this glycerol that helps to keep the media moist and in the after three weeks for a week also you the media is not dry and they can be seen the growth of this organism then there is a middle brook which is the medium that can be a solid as well as liquid we can be used uh, for the uh, identification of this uh, growth of this mycobacterium tuberculosis and there are a lot of rapid automated broth culture so now there is the automated system you can go and found that this bacteria system where you can grow this organism very rapidly and they can be available in the few centers uh, and they are obviously available in the developed countries in nepal they are only available in one center whereas in india and there it is available in the many centers okay now coming to the mycobacterium 
uh, this mycobacterium tuberculosis is not grown in the other normal media that you have to understand it requires this lulchen jensen media or middle middle brook medium or rapid automated growth culture why this information is uh, information they can be give you as a primary information that one of the organism has from the patient presenting with a chest pain a cough hemoptysis and then there, there is a growth in the algae medium and now they are actually talking about this mycobacterium tuberculosis to you so they have already grown and then they will ask you another question so you have to understand that one then there is a mycobacterium mycoplasma pneumonia and mycoplasma pneumonia is grow in the eton agar what is the importance of this agar this is special requirement is the cholesterol so organism this organism is grown only in the presence of the cholesterol and we provide this cholesterol into the eton agar so that because of that it can grow easily then there is the term like brucella francisella legionella and pasturella this the all we can remember this this all this required charcoal yeast extract agar buffer with cysteine and iron so this brucella francisella legionella and pastorella they can be grown but they require this special requirement and what are this special requirement this is charcoal yeast extract along with this cysteine and buffer with cysteine and iron so they will require of cysteine iron and charcoal yeast agar for the growth of this ella sisters like brucella francisella legionella and pastorella how can we remember we remember ella built cysteine chapel out of the charcoal and iron so you need to understand this all this ella um, bacteria that is brucella francisella legionella and pastorella they can be grown but they require the special requirement what are the requirement that is the charcoal yeast extract cysteine and iron so we have made a formula like ella sister or ella built cysteine chapel out of the charcoal and iron this is just a ella built cysteine chapel out of the charcoal and iron this is the way to remember but you have to understand this ella means this brucella francisella legionella pasturella so ella that is required what cysteine and charcoal and iron so this three thing will be required for the growth of this organism there is other like fungus if you are talking about the fungus fungus is a uh, required in the growth of the saboroid dextrois agar so there is a term called saboroid s a b r o u d a saboroids so that is the a saboroid is a for fungi saboroids dextroid agar that is for the a sab is a fungi so this is the saboroid dextrose agar that is required for the fungus growth then there is the um, like uh, for e coli there is the emb e coli so there is the emb that is the eosin methylene blue and that give the green metallics into the e coli so you can differentiate from other enteric organism easily into the if you are going to into this medium and then there is a maconchi agar i have told you about the maconchi agar maconchi agar have a lactose that can differentiate between the lactose fermenter and non-fermenter how does it occur any organism that can utilize lactose produce acid produce acid diffuse into the medium that short turns that uh, change the ph that and then once the ph is changed that indicator present in the medium turns into the pink or red and then you get identification between the lactose formant and non formant organism so in a not cell i want to explain you we have we talk about the bacterial structure we have talked about the strain now this is about the food for the bacteria by which we can grow in the medium in the lab and after that after growing the lab into the lab we go for the further identification like biochemical test you know the genetic analysis i of the from the isolated colony and then diagnosis is made in this way the lab proceed proceed the way of identification of the bacteria and after identification they also put the antibiotic susceptibility testing by which the we can get the appropriate drug which inhibit that those bacteria and in this way we get the antibiotic susceptibility testing report and according to the sensitivity and resistance we treat the organism okay thank you